What's up, guys? Welcome back to Scum. Now, I've done a little bit of work off camera here. I did go ahead and, unfortunately, destroy all of the old low walls that we had here and then put in new, um, the new double door frames and then the walls. I have also gone ahead and finished out the porch in terms of floor anyway. I haven't bothered putting in the railings there, but I have the full wraparound porch. And as you can see up there, I've put blueprints down for, or a blueprint down anyway, for starting on the roof. Now, I also went through and upgraded all of these to wood. So, they, they look a little bit better, I think. And eventually, I do want to put doors on these. So that way, we can have this either be open or enclosed. And uh, that way, we could have this kind of rooftop gazebo or... Just close it in and have it be a second story. Now, I went ahead and took the liberty of bringing all of this stuff up here. Just so you guys didn't have to watch me run up and down the stairs 20 times. Uh, before we get started, though, I would like to say a massive, massive thank you to you guys. Because we finally hit 100 subscribers. That is amazing to me. Thank you guys so much. I know 100 subscribers doesn't seem like much to, you know, big YouTubers, but, I mean, everybody had to start off somewhere, and 100 subscribers is just amazing to me. I'm, I'm so happy about that. So thank you guys so, so much for that. You guys are awesome. Now we are hungry here, so I guess in honor of the 100 subscribers, we should have a celebratory meal. I know it's not much, but... In the apocalypse, having an MRE of beef stew would be a luxury, so... <sighs> but seriously, thank you guys. That is incredible. I... I didn't know if this channel, you know, when I, excuse me, when I started this channel, I didn't know if it would even get to 100 subscribers ever. And it's been around for about three months now. It was, I started it in late January. And so to be at 100 subscribers after only three months, to me, is insane. So... Just truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this channel. You guys are awesome. I can't tell what the usage is. Okay, there we go. Intake is 960, 980, something like that. Okay, we're good there then. Okay, let's see if we can't start getting this roof on here. Now, I played around with the blueprints a little bit for the roof. My original thought was do, like, roof panels like this, but here and here. And then do the triangular roof panels in the corners there. But that doesn't seem like it's going to work. Because... Here's what these look like if you try and place two of them. So you get this weird, goofy overlap kind of stuff, and it just... It, it's very frustrating. But... That means that we are just going to build a peak for the roof. The problem with that is it looks like this middle section is probably going to have to just be a flat top. Which is fine. But it's not going to be a nice peaked roof like that. But we can just have the flat top there. And it'll do. 
Now, the issue <laughs> is going to be that once we get this first level of floor or of ceiling roof, I'll get the right word eventually, I promise. Um... I don't have any rope. Well, poo. That's fine. We have enough small sticks to make rope. You know what? Why don't we just go ahead and do rope out of all of the small sticks that we currently have here? Rope. Because we're going to need a lot of rope. But uh, the issue is once we get this first level on, we're then going to have to build a floor... At least around the edge, so that I can get up high enough to do the second floor. If you guys have any tips about how to do that without having to build too much, I would appreciate it. Ooh. Okay, you're starting to get crappy. And you're warm. What do we have that we can ditch for the moment? I mean, we could ditch the undershirt, I guess. What do you have in you? You have my bank card. Tell you what. Do I not have room for anything anywhere other than the backpack? Well, that's unfortunate. Alright then, backpack it is. You know what, backpack for you too. That's fine. Okay. Oh, we were only able to make two. Well. That'll do, I guess. Oh, I guess I need to reselect this over here. This one, because we don't want the triangular ones. What are we short on? Ah, we're short on sticks. That's okay, we have sticks right here. I need to get my hands on an actual saw saw, don't I? We have one at the other house. No, oh, this one. Small stick. But I'm pretty sure we have a handsaw at the other house. I need to go back there at some point. The generator's probably out of fuel. And so, eh, we probably lost a bunch of food, but that's okay. Okay, well, we're going to have loads of sticks right now, because I think I have... I know I have at least one more. Yeah, I've got another bundle of, or another tree limb over there. Oh, we have another one right there. Okay, we're going to have loads of sticks. No. This one. Small stick. Thank you. Small stick. I want to get all of the long sticks cut up into small sticks, just so we're not going to have him default to using long sticks for this. Jeez, it's basically going to take one long stick worth of small sticks per roof section, huh? That sucks. That one I think we're going to bring in a little closer, because otherwise it's going to just dump half of them on the ground. Give me that. Why don't you come over here? You go over here. Thank you. Oh, we got a couple more. Alrighty. Fair enough. More sticks. Stick. And sticks. Now also, uh, for those of you that do not necessarily enjoy the base building or are getting tired of the base building, 
we will go out and do something a little more exciting here once we get the roof kind of at least started to f be fleshed out. I, I really have been getting into doing the base building, so I didn't really want to start on the base building and then go wander off and do something else. You know, I, I really wanted to make a lot of progress on the base, so... But we will get out and do something more exciting here before too much longer, I promise. Because I know base building is not everybody's favorite thing to watch. Hey, where's my log? Did I not have a log over here for this one? Well, I guess I'm going to steal this log then. Actually, I guess we could have taken that one because we don't need it right there, but that's okay. Dog. Now, yes, that's that right there is where I want the roof. Absolutely. That's actually not terrible. Problem is, it would severely limit us on being able to actually walk through here. Now, with having to build a second floor up here. I would not be opposed to having a loft up here. It's just going to suck because that takes a lot to build a floor. Now, I guess we could just leave that one as a twig floor. But, I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions on what we can do there, let me know. Now, you go away. God, that is so much easier with the with the hotkey for that. Thank you guys so much for telling me about it. Let's see. There, that's a long stick over here. I don't want to... Yeah, don't want to do that. You become small sticks. How is my food doing now? Okay, it, it should still be going up. We're short one small stick, huh? Really? How are we short one small stick? Did we not get five? We did, it just didn't quite make it close. Gotcha. Okay, small sticks. Oh, we got, we got loads of small sticks over here. Okay, now let's go ahead and make some more rope. Because we need that. Do I even have room for more rope? Yeah, I've got room for rope. Rope, thank you all. I wish that it would just go ahead and fill it in with everything that you have. You know, like, okay, here, it, it's like, you need two uses of the hunter. Okay, there it did that, but it's been doing, like, one stick at a time. I wish that if you had enough sticks, it would just go ahead and do that. Rather than, see, like, it's doing them one at a time. Am I out of stick? How am I? Oh, crap. I'm out of sticks again already. Well. Man, you go through a lot of sticks with these. Why did my axe get put over here? Give me that. That's why it's been filling in with my hunter. Stupid thing. Give me my axe back. I want that. Thank you. Where did my logs go? Why has it been using the logs for the next one over?
<sighs> Whatever, that's fine. Log, come here. Yeah, we have two logs left over there. Give me this one. Give. Give, thank you. Log. But if you guys have any suggestions for something you'd like to see us go do, just as a break from working on the house, let me know, because I'm, I'm up for whatever you guys would like to do. Now, I said we're going to do another level of roof up. Could we just do a flat top right off of that? I don't see why we couldn't. I'm just trying to see how it looks. Don't fall off the edge. Hmm. How does it look from down low? Actually, can I place a blueprint for the roof down here? No, because I'm too short. That's unfortunate. E. Weak stability. Ah. Okay, so do I need to upgrade these? What if we upgrade this? No. Stop doing things. Can can I can I upgrade? I can't even <sighs> upgrade that. And I'm out of rope and we need planks. Well, we can make planks here. Now I'm assuming that I probably also need to start putting in walls there in order for this to have more stability. Because, I mean, it would make sense that it, it can't support itself going that way. But, anyway. Uh, we need four planks. Okay, we have two logs. And what do we want to do here? Because here's the other thing. We do need to actually start putting in walls. I pres that's not a wall, that's a floor. Wall. Is there not a triangular wall? I'm confused then. How do you do this? Never mind. You just do it that way and it automatically snaps it like so. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so we still need more binding. Gotcha. What do we have? We don't have enough sticks on us for binding. Well, poop. I can fix that. I do like how this is coming together. It, it's it's looking like more or less what I had pictured in my head. So I'm I'm pretty happy with it thus far. Let's see. Let's go ahead and cut up a f at least a few of these and make some rope. Because we're going to need rope for pretty much everything. Okay, let's do some rope. Uh, I guess I need to go get a sewing kit. And fix our boots before they fall off of our feet. So we'll do that here in just a second. 
Now, can you use tree bark rope for making a sewing kit? I don't remember. Where is the sewing kit? Here's the sewing kit. What do you need for this? No. Okay. That's what I thought. I thought the tree bark rope would be too thick. So you do actually need thread or nylon line. That's fine. Looks like we have sewing kits. But let's go ahead and get this knocked out real quick here. What are we missing for you? What, what are we missing for you? Did it not fill in the tree? Okay, I guess it filled in the tree bark rope for this. Yeah, okay. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Well, let's go get us a sewing kit so that our shoes don't fall off. I, I guess now that we have this done, I need to start moving the chests over, huh? Okay, well, we'll do that here in a little bit. Now, I did not... Well, I already showed you guys this. I haven't done the railings on this side yet. Ooh, that's looking nice. I actually really like that. I do. I like the look of that. And once we get the walls, or, or the uh, the doors on that, we can enclose that if we want to. I'm liking that. That's actually turning out very much the way that I wanted it to. Now, I'm just trying to look at it from this side. Do we need to try to peek the roof further? Or just try and build floor onto that. Because we might be able to go ahead and build the floor onto that without having to build another floor up. I don't know. I, I'm guessing I can place the blueprints. I don't know that I can actually reach the thing, though. But we'll, we'll see. If you guys, like I said, if you have any suggestions on how I can do that, let me know. Okay, got new shoes, I mean, repaired our old shoes, but they're now new shoes, so, spiff diddly dee, hiya, now, where were we, we were in the middle of stuff and things, I need planks, Actually, hang on, before we do that, does this now allow me to do a wall, or a, um, a thing? Does it allow me to extend the roof now? No, still, still no. Weak stability. Now, maybe upgrading this, I don't know. I stop doing things. Now, change all. Hey, started on the first try this time. Wonderful. Planks. Planks. Yay. How does the wood roof look? Uh, it actually doesn't look too bad. Still not great. I would like to have, like, that. You know, where it actually looks like shingles. And you guys have said that the brick roof looks like that, I believe. So, we'll probably try to upgrade to that. So, once we get this stuff done, then we'll be able to go to the brick factory. Now, what do I need for upgrading you? Can I, can I upgrade you? Come on. Oh, come on, you. There we go. Upgrade that. Ooh. 
we, we need lots of planks for you. Well, okay. Also, is that going to screw up and make that solid like that? Because we don't want that. You know, I want to leave it nice looking like that. And honestly, I'm fine with the twig look like that. That, to me, that would give it more ventilation. Not that you need a lot of ventilation if it's like this, but, you know. Anyway. Uh... Okay, now that we have that upgraded, can I do this? No, still weak stability. I wonder, I may need to place walls that away or something, yeah? Okay, well, doesn't matter. I guess we're going to go get some more logs because I would like to finish upgrading hmm, these and adding in walls here. So, tell you what, let's go ahead and put down... Actually, I really want to upgrade these. Uh, it, it would be a better decision, though, probably, to get walls up here. Come on. There we go. Nope, there we go. Beautiful. But see, that one automatically snaps to being the triangle. The wood did not. It, it was still a full wall, so I'm, I'm a little confused or concerned about that. <sighs> we need lots more stuff and things, huh? Yeah, okay, so we need more logs, more sticks. Alrighty. Fair enough. I mean, we have the sticks. Are there any more sticks around here? Uh, there's a couple over here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of long sticks right here. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and, and deal with that then. Because we need rope as well. Right? Or, or how are we doing it? No, we're good on rope. Okay. At least for the time being. Now, I don't remember how many we need. Uh, do we need four for each wall? I don't remember. Let's, let's take what we got here. Small, 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 small. More smalls. Give me that. No! Damn it. Whatever, it's fine. Why can I not do this from this side? Drat, we need four more. Of course we do. No, we have... No, we don't have any more small sticks. Yeah, we do. Do we? We have a couple more. We have one more small stick. Two more small sticks. Three. Oh, come on. I need one more small stick. Can I have one? There we go. There was plenty. Small sticks. Thank you. And my axe. Except, dead again, because it always defaults to that. Good lord, the axe gets used up so quickly chopping this stuff. Because I sharpened it before I started the video. Well, I guess it also gets used for each one of these panels, doesn't it? Okay. 
Yeah, that's why the axe gets used up so quickly. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I forget that putting these in requires use of the axe. I'm not real sure why, but anyways, it do. Okay, well, we need more logs. We got sticks. I think we have enough sticks. Maybe. Get out. Thank you. Out. And then you guys all come over here. Okay. Beautiful. Onward to more logs. And yes, eventually we will get a door for this. When you guys had mentioned that I drove right past a ranger, or yeah, a ranger that had one. And we'll, we'll deal with that eventually. It also looks like we need a bumper, but that's okay. Um, let me put the new, don't do that do this and we'll come in here <laughs> there and then you you come over here perfect okay onward more trees or realistically cutting down the same trees that we've been cutting down every time like I said, that's convenient. Um, it it does still for sure take take away a little bit from the realism, but that's okay. And of course, it's gonna start raining as soon as I come out here to chop wood. Why wouldn't it? That's fine. Can't see, there's a bush in the way. Also, it occurs to me, I had mentioned last time that we have not gotten any airdrops for a while. Is that because on single player, anytime you restart the server, as in, you know, you log out and log back in. It resets the timer for those. I wonder. That would be my guess. And so basically it's going to take 90 minutes from when I get onto the server to when it will give us an airdrop. Not that that really matters. I'm, we're, you know, we don't need an airdrop for anything right now. It just concerned me a little bit that we hadn't gotten one for quite some time. Holy crap! We got a lot of logs out of this one. How many logs did we get out of this? Holy crap! We got eight logs out of that one. Damn. Give me that. I want the tree branch. Got seven out of this one. Seven is what we've been getting, I think. No, we got eight out of that one too, huh? Well, hell yeah. I'm not going to complain about getting extra logs. Where's this other tree? It's in the thick of the bushes here. Oh, too far. There. There.
Now, are there more logs from this one? Yes. No. Any more logs? It's awkward driving around while in the inventory. <laughs> Anything? Okay, is that it? I think that's it. Okay, beautiful. Ah, oh, it's raining pretty good. I guess, as much as it's been raining here, I guess I should have gone ahead and planted a garden. But, whatever. It is what it is. The problem is we don't have seeds here. The seeds are all back at the other place, I think. So, I guess I do need to get back to the other place here at some point and get the rest of our stuff to move out to here. Because I really like this place. The other place I feel like would be a really good spot for a community outpost or base. You know, some of you guys had mentioned we could even set up our own traders and stuff. And I like that idea. So, if we ever get the multiplayer thing going, that might be something to look into. Now, do we stay dry under the roof over... Yay! We stay dry under the roof. Also, it's awkwardly sunny for as rainy as it is, but that's... <laughs> log, log. Why can I not... Do it from that side. That bugs the crap out of me. It would be nice to be able to carry more than two logs at a time, but the reality is... These logs are pretty damn big. If I don't I don't think a normal person could physically carry more than two. Really, I don't know that a normal person could physically carry more than one at a time, but and I really don't think that this backpack would actually hold up to that kind of weight, but maybe it would. Okay, let's get this other side up. I did get all of those facing correctly, right? Yes, okay. Beautiful. Yay! Okay, so we need more sticks. And I don't want to use the long ones, so make short sticks, please. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffling. It got very cold here yesterday. We had a, a pretty big storm come through. We had a bunch of hail. Fortunately, no tornadoes. But we were getting, like, golf ball-sized hail here. Fortunately, it didn't seem to do any damage to anything. Aside from the fins on our air conditioners a little bit, but not anything bad that's really affecting them or anything. So that's good. And our vehicles, we have parked in... Uh, essentially a barn so it all worked out I'm just fortunate that I was able to get the yard mode before that came through <laughs> yeah it basically sounded like that most of the day yesterday and it went from being like 70 degrees oh I've already got all the stakes here 
It went from being like 70 degrees down into the like mid 50s. Oh, I'm two sticks short. Drat. Sticks. Sticks. Sticks? Where did I do with the sticks? Are we all out of sticks? No, we're not out of sticks. Two sticks. Yay! Okay, so we just need logs for this. Fantastic. But it was loud when it started hailing. And that, the, uh, I don't know if you guys remember what I, I mentioned, that I built a porch onto our house. And I put a metal roof on it. Now, underneath the metal roof, I put a solid layer of plywood so that it wouldn't be horribly noisy when it rained, but you would still get that nice metal roof sound when it rains. And holy crap, the hail on that. <laughs> that was loud. But just the hail hitting the house was loud. I'm actually surprised it didn't damage the house. Because we live in an old farmhouse. I think I've mentioned that before. But it was built in, I think, 1949. And... It, it has some... It has its quirks. Like, the uh, the wiring on it is very... Awkward. Shall we say. Like, most of the light switches work stuff in the next room over. For some reason. I, I don't know why, but that's the way that they did it, so... Whatever, I guess. Now, can I do anything here with this? No, that still has no stability. Okay, so can you just not peek roofs further then? I'm very curious about that. Can I just not peek the roof any further than one layer like this? Huh. Fascinating. Anyway, I guess since we can't do anything with that currently, let's go ahead and work on upgrading these. Upgrade, upgrade. There we go. Upgrade. Two more planks. Okay, so for this we need lots of planks. Gotcha. No, not that one. Eh, this one. So I don't know where a lot of you guys are from, but uh, like I said we're in the Midwest. We're in Missouri, and so we got that pretty nasty storm yesterday. Did any of you get hit with that? I know some of you were in like Kentucky. Uh, I don't know if it got over that far or not. Oh, am I out of rope, too? I'm out of rope, too. Well, poo. That's fine, because we have loads of sticks now. Can I, can I upgrade all of these? Can, can I upgrade all of these? Yay, I can. Okay. Now, were there more sticks over here? Yes, but not enough. Drat. What? Maybe there's... A, yeah, there's enough for one thing of rope anyway. Well, that'll work. And we have one more stick for good measure. Whoop. What was it? That looks like a long stick. No, that's a small stick. Poo. Any more small sticks? No. Woo! Don't run off the edge. That's why we need the railing, because my dumb ass will just run right off the edge and break my ankles. Yeah, that's a high enough drop it would injure me, I'm assuming. Oh, that's looking nice. That's looking really nice. 
I'm like... I need like a child safety gate up here. Okay, so we need logs for planks. Yeah. Or, hang on. We, we needed rope. 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 That's... <sighs> Man, that tree bark rope does not last very long. That's fine. We have more sticks. How's the axe doing? Ooh, okay. We need to go hit the sharpening stone. <sighs> Where's the rest of the small sticks? Where's the rest of the small sticks? You rat bastard. What the hell? Where's the rest of my small sticks? Long, long, long. Small, small, small. Long, long. Where did the rest of the small ones go? Did they fall down here? Maybe? I don't know. <sighs> That bugs me, though. Small sticks. Because we need lots of rope. Like lots and lots of rope. Oodles and oodles, even. I don't know what the official measurement amount for an oodle is, but it, it, it's supposed to be a lot. Okay. Rope. Rope is not in there. Rope. 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 <sighs> now, we don't need small sticks for any of this. Right, we just need planks and rope, right? So I think we're going to just turn all of this that we currently have cut up into rope. Because we've got two more small sticks and another limb. Oh, actually, sorry, we have several more long sticks and another limb. Yeah, we'll just turn all of this into rope then. You know, I'm actually wondering if we do just want to go ahead and do a floor right there rather than try to do a further peaked roof. I don't know. Let me let, let me know what you guys think on that. We got that one done. This one. This one. This one. Oh, we already got the rope on this side. Well, fine then. Eh, you won't be in the way there. Logs. We need logs. I need planks. So, we need, what, four logs for each of these? Was that right? Or four planks, not four logs. Four planks? Yes. Okay, so... Two logs will be able to do three sections. Beautiful. Go there. And you go here. Okay. So, we're gonna need... Uh, we can do that with two logs, and then this is going to require a log, and, or a log and a half. But then we also still need another half log over there. So, perfect. That's going to work out beautifully. We should get the exact number of planks that we need. 
I think. <sighs> doodly doodly doo. Drop. And drop. Now, was that correct? Or do we need two more? We need we need two more, because those two will do those three sections. And then so we need another two for there. Okay, okay, gotcha. Woo. What happened? Why am I stuck? Damn it. Stupid controller. There we go. I'm not frozen anymore. Huzzah. Gotta hate that when the controller dies. Okay, so we needed one more for over here. There's a drop you right there. Right, because then we'll need two for here and two to finish off that over there. I think, I hope my math worked out correctly. Yay! Planks. Now, do any of the skills lead to the chainsaw starting easier. Like, just the more you use the chainsaw, does it get easier to start? Or, you know, is there one of the skills... What? There we go. That the more it gets upgraded, the easier it is to start the chainsaw. I don't know. Cut the log. Thank you. Thanks. Yay. So that's all the logs now, correct? Yay. Fantastic. Okay. What the? It used the planks for down there you son of a bitch <laughs> damn you and now there's no planks for what the hell <sighs> all right then because you went over here you didn't get used for the one that you're directly underneath no why would you do such a thing that would only be logical. Hmm. We have two extra planks. Well, fantastic. I'm not going to complain about that. That's looking nice. I, I'm I'm happy with that so far. Now, at this point, we can't peek the roof any further, can we? Because it still just does not have a strong enough foundation, right? Yeah, just weak stability. But if we build the wall first, then the wall will be awkwardly long, and it, it may actually interfere with the roof. I don't know. But the point is, I don't think we're going to actually be able to peek the roof any further. Are we? 
Now, can I place flooring from down here? Yay, I can. I can't reach it to actually complete it, but I can place it. Okay. Well, we may just do that and have that just be a, a flat top roof there then. Now, let's see what that looks like from down there. Because I, I really want to see what this is looking like. That actually looks pretty darn good. Stupid bushes, you're in the way. That's actually looking really nice. I'm actually quite happy with the way that this is turning out. <sighs> now, I also tried upgrading, like, these. I, I tried doing one. I did this middle one here. I upgraded that to wood. And I just, I didn't like the way that it looked. It gave it the, the log siding, like what you get here. But I didn't really like that for the, for the porch railing. So I think I'm going to just leave all of this as twig. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I think, honestly, for those walls up there... I don't know. What do you think on those? Do you think we should leave those as twig or do those as log? Actually, for those, log might look better. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. You know, let me know if you think that we should turn these into wood or leave them as stick. Also, let me know if... Upgrading this will make it into this solid square wall, which would just look terrible. Or if it will go ahead and do it as just a, a half wall like that. Now, actually, no, you can't do a triangular wall. That's what I was looking for before, and it there's not an option for a triangular wall. So, hey. <sighs> Okay, well, either way. This is for the perimeter wall, yes. You you go away. You you go away. Which we still need to do the perimeter wall. And that's going to take some doing. <laughs> but I think I think we're going to call this episode here. We've been going for about an hour. And we made a lot of progress. I actually didn't think we would get the roof upgraded like this. I thought we would get the, the twig roof up, and that would probably have taken a long enough time. But we, we actually made a lot of decent progress. Now, before we go, I do want to see this. We're not going to put it in yet, but this is the plan. Is to have all of these have twig doors. Or not twig doors, but, well, maybe twig, I don't know, we may upgrade them to wood. But to have all of these have doors. So that we can enclose this place if we want to. I, I I think that's what I want to do. I want to do it to where we can enclose this. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, let me know what you guys think as far as the roof. Let me know if I can even peek the roof any further than this, because it's kind of seeming like I can't. So, let me know if there's some trick to doing that to where we could peek the roof further. Uh, if not, that's fine, but if there is a way to do it, I would like to know. Just because I do like a peaked roof, or at least as close to a peaked roof as we can get, but anyway. I think we're doing pretty darn good here, and then before long, we will start doing the interior decorating. Um, if I can set up a live stream, which would be, what, tomorrow? 
if I can set up a live stream tomorrow. Uh, we may work on that. You know, I'll, I can do some interior decorating. You guys can give me some tips and whatnot on um, what you'd like to see in here as far as doing the decorating. Um, but I say a big if on that because we are working this weekend. Um, and so it's really going to depend on how late we have to work, how we feel when we get home. Um, and so it, it just, it may not work out that there's a live stream this weekend. So if that's the case, I apologize. Um, but if there is a live stream, if that's something you guys would like to see is, you know, do interior decorating on a live stream so that you guys can have some input. Great. We'll do that. If we can put the live stream together. Um, but I'm not going to promise anything on the live stream for this weekend. But uh, if we can do a live stream, fantastic. I'll see you guys there. You know, keep an eye out for one. Um, but just be aware that there's a, a good possibility that there will not be a live stream. So, anyway, I, I guess that's it for my rambling there. Um... I do want to say another big thank you to you guys for the hundred subscribers. That's that's just incredible. I'm you have no idea how happy that makes me. I I love that. It it's a sign. It's a the hundred subscriber mark is a milestone that the channel is growing and it is being successful. And I'm just I'm I'm tickled to death. So thank you guys for being so awesome. Thank you so much for getting us to 100 subscribers. You guys are awesome. And I couldn't ask for better viewers. You guys have been really cool. You know, uh, I was concerned when starting YouTube that I was just going to get a bunch of trolls. Or that the people watching wouldn't really care at all about the channel. And you know, you would just get basically comments that are like, Hey, cool video. Nice job, you know, but no, you guys are actually really interacting with the channel. You're wanting to see it get bigger and better, and that's awesome. I, I love that you guys are being such a big part of this channel. So, thank you guys for being so awesome. And I swear I will stop rambling now, but thank you guys so, so much for watching the videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.